Hey, Miles here at Tactile Hive. It's Thursday. This means we are going to validate what you did on Monday, Monday's dry fire session, and we're going to be working on shot anticipation. On Monday, we discussed a couple simple tips that you can use to help with shot anticipation. The first one was to really just relax and mentally focus on doing what you're supposed to do, and that is just squeezing the trigger and not adding any movement. The second tip was a very important one, and that is to focus on the process. So a lot of people, they begin to anticipate the shot, they move before the bullet leaves the barrel because they're worried about the bang and the explosion. So if you're focused on just hyper-focused on just pulling your trigger and just letting the shot happen on its own because you know the bullet's gonna come out if you focus on the process. You don't have to focus on the explosion itself or the target itself. You could also focus on just your sights, keeping it super steady. That will take your attention away again from the actual shot. What we're going to do is live fire. You can do the same exact things. You can use any target array that you want. Here I have some steel plates, just convenient. You can put, use a paper target. You can do this indoors, outdoors. It doesn't really matter. But the first live fire exercises are very simple. You're going to do exactly what you did dry fire. Then I'm going to add on top of this, okay, something that is really cool and that will really help if you're having an anticipation issue. So right now, I'm going to load my P365, one in the chamber, and all I'm going to do is just a couple rounds for each of the tips that I showed you here. So now we're doing it live fire. You're copying exactly what you did in dry fire. So the first one, I'm just gonna make sure I'm relaxed, nothing is tense. If, if I'm like this really tense, before I take shots, I'll breathe and just make sure I'm relaxed. Then I'm going to mentally focus on not moving my hands or my body when I squeeze the trigger or eat before or after. I literally just want to move my trigger finger. So I have my sights on target. I'm relaxed and now I'm mentally focusing on just moving my trigger finger and nothing else. And the shot breaks. I have good follow through, a prep trigger, and now I can relax again. Okay. Now that is when you're focusing on that first tip, mental focus as well as relaxation. The next is process. Okay, so instead of me focusing on the plate and thinking about whether I get that, shoot that plate and it goes down, rather than, fo rather than focusing on that, I'm just going to focus on my trigger press. So my sights are going to be aligned. I have a prep trigger here. I'm going to focus on the trigger press the entire way and not worry so much about the plate or the bang. Okay, so I go down a line again, focusing on my trigger press. Am I prep trigger? Do I have a prep trigger? Yes. I'm gonna take the shot, reset and prep. That's what I wanna focus on. It takes my attention away from the bang, okay? And the explosion. Now what I wanna share with you is another tip that is very, very effective, very powerful. Got this from the guys at TPC um, and it's, it's just a great exercise that's gonna help you. I'm gonna share, there are three iterations to this. I'm gonna share the first iteration, which is, is gonna be effective in helping you. I don't wanna overwhelm you, okay? So here you'll pick any target you want. And what you're going to do is I have one in the chamber and I'm going to release the mag here, okay? I'm gonna put it in my pocket, wherever I can access it again. And let me explain the drill here first. What you're going to do is you're going to present and you're gonna have a prep trigger. You're gonna take that shot. So when you take the shot, there's not going to be a round in the chamber, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna break the shot and immediately, okay? Immediately you're gonna reset and prep I'm going to bring my elbows in and then within 1.5 seconds, okay, so TPC mentions two, I like to do this in one and a half seconds here, push out and take another shot, a dry fire shot on the target that you are shooting, that you shot at first. The idea here is on the second shot, you're going to pay attention to your red dot or your sight. Was there any movement at all? If there was any movement, that means there was a flinch or some anticipation. Okay, we are trying to get rid of that by just focusing on the first two tips that I shared with you, which was to just relax and focus on the process as well as mentally focus on not moving anything else. Okay, so here what we're going to do, I'm gonna talk about this one more time. I'm gonna break a live fire shot. There's one in the chamber right now. Break a live fire shot, immediately reset and prep, come down, 
back to the target in 1.5 seconds, break that shot within 1.5 seconds, okay? Because if you do it within 1.5 seconds, your brain is going to think that they're still around there, that the gun is still going to go bang. And so if you do have an anticipation problem or a flinch problem, this is going to highlight it. So here, I'm gonna do it for real now, slowly. Okay, I'll do it slowly first, and then I'll do it at real speed here. So I have around the chamber, I'm gonna break the shot, reset and prep, immediately I come down, come back up, and then take a dry fire shot. I paid attention to my sights the entire time. There was no movement, so that would be a good rep. This one I'm gonna do incorrectly, so I want you, I'm gonna exaggerate so you can see the second shot. I want you to see what we're trying to look out for here. So to rehash this drill, I have an empty gun here. I'm gonna load the mag, rack the slide, release the mag, okay? One in the chamber, nothing in the mag well. So I'm gonna talk this one through slowly again. I'm prepping my trigger, I'm here. I'm gonna break the shot. I reset and prep. I come back out. Now look at the movement here. When I take that dry fire shot, this is what you don't wanna see, okay? That means there's anticipation issues there. And so now what you wanna do is slow things down in terms of thinking about what you need to do, and that is to relax. Just focus on the process of moving just your trigger finger, okay? So I'm gonna do this one again at uh, a closer to full speed here. One in the chamber and nothing in the magwell. I'm gonna break the shot, come back and take that dry fire shot. As you'll see on that second iteration there, that dry fire shot, there wasn't any dip or movement, okay? For some of you, there will be, and that's okay because this exercise is now showing you where your deficiencies are, okay? Now what happens is if you saw yourself move on that second shot, okay, I'm going to put these plates up here, okay? If you saw yourself move on that second shot, then you need to mentally focus again on not moving anything and just focusing on the process. So I'm gonna rack one here into the chamber, nothing in the magwell. So if you didn't have a good rep, you're gonna do this again. Start on target, break the shot. Okay, I missed that first shot, I rushed it, but that's okay. The second shot was really the, the purpose of this drill, right? That time there was no movement. Okay, so you would do this again. here, prep trigger, I'm gonna break the shot. Looking if there's any movement, that's what we wanna see. And whenever you have any deficiencies, any issues, go back to the tips that I share. Just focus on the process, mentally focus on not moving anything else, and just relax, right? So this drill that I shared with you, where you are going to shoot, bring it in and out, do that as many times as you want until you get it down, okay? And you want to be able to do this, let's say, 10 times in a row. If you're doing it 10 times in a row, then that's pretty good. You're getting rid of that recoil anticipation, or I should say shot anticipation. So that wraps up today's video. I hope this week's videos, the dry fire and today's live fire video, really do help you out with your shot anticipation. Those exercises are really, you know, really all you need to battle shot anticipation. But as I mentioned in the first video, practice, 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 practice. The exercise you just learned today is a very good way to validate if you're doing things well. And if you spot yourself really moving, go back to those tips, just relaxing and just moving the trigger finger. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. And as always, please comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.